Hey loves, Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I hope you are well. I am doing well. This is a different kind of haul today and I am in my kitchen. I locked the window. I hope that the sound is better in here. I will not be recording videos in my kitchen, obviously, going forward. But this one is one that actually is about food. So I am in my little box of a kitchen and I am here to show you a Trader Joe's haul. It is not very Poshmark related, but if you don't know, I am a part-time reseller on the Poshmark app and you find me, uh, you can find me at Curry Style Remix if you're interested in checking out my Poshmark closet. This video is actually because I really did not want to do Thanksgiving this year. I really wish I had thought ahead and bought a ticket and went home to Georgia to spend with my family, but I didn't. My best friend, of course, has invited me to her house, but I don't really feel like doing that either. So, and I wasn't going to cook at all. So, I actually just went to Trader Joe's because my fridge was empty and I haven't really grocery shopped for myself since my mom left in, like, the beginning of October. And now it's November... 15th so my fridge is basically empty and I love Trader Joe's so I just wanted to share with you guys what I want what I got and I mainly wanted to share with you if you're a thrifter or a Poshmark person and you're not really into cooking I love to cook don't get me wrong but this year I'm just not really feeling it but if you're not really into cooking I noticed that Trader Joe's has some really good options if you want to get that Thanksgiving food and I'm going to show you a um, picture of like the little sign in the store that kind of indicates what the Thanksgiving foods are that they're offering there's like a little orange sign and then it also has a little tip that says what you might want to do with it like for instance when I get to one I'll show you so but I'm going to show you everything and then when I get to the Thanksgiving stuff I'll show you and I was like most of it's fully cooked already and you just pop it in the oven so I got Canadian white bread this is my first time picking up Canadian white bread I don't know I just want to, I've been having a craving for grilled cheese for the longest so now I'm like I just need to get the dang bread and obviously you can make sandwich and stuff with the bread um chili lime burgers from Trader Joe's chili lime chicken burgers someone recommended these and I want to give them a try this a lot of stuff like that was new to me a lot of the stuff I picked up this time was new to me this is also new to me this is a barbecue seasoned spatchcock chicken that basically that just means they took this chicken they seasoned it and then they cut it down the middle so they it cooks spatchcock which is just um flat and it's butterfly for you it's a butterfly whole chicken so I like barbecue I like chicken these are going to be easy things for me to make because I need to start eating better but if it's hard then I don't want it. I feel like it's going to take me too much time but if I could just put that on a tray and pop it in the oven to cook that's nothing I picked up some organic drumstick organic free range chicken range is only 342 not bad for some drumsticks that are organic um I can cook like my stewed chicken jerk chicken with those I picked up a bag of lemons these are good for my lemon water and also to clean my chicken because I'm Jamaican and I clean my chicken <laughs> you do what you want that's your own thing I actually went back into the store because I forgot to get butter and I love their Kerrygold butter it's pure Irish butter it's got a higher fat content I learned about this butter when I was doing keto for a little while I like that how it makes my grilled cheeses and it's like a higher smoke point heat it can hold up a little bit to a higher smoke point in my opinion on this um this is also new to me, but my one of my really good friends, she works at Applegate, and she's brought me a lot of their stuff, and I really like Applegate, and they're always, like, uncured, no antibiotics, and really good for you. So I'm trying this slow-cooked ham, although I thought I picked up turkey. But anyway, I might put this in, like, one of my grilled cheeses to make it, like, a grilled cheese and ham and cheese sandwich. Um, then, of course, you can't have grilled cheese without cheese, and I guess because of the holidays, they had these... Um, special, special party trays already set and I love cheese although cheese doesn't always love me um it is Trader Joe's party tray sliced Kobe Jack Swiss um mild cheddar pepper jack and it's an assortment and that will get eaten because I can use that in tacos I can use that in my grilled cheese I can use that in I can use that all over the place um I picked up some broccoli florets because I like making these in the oven super easy on a tray with like garlic, um, olive oil, salt, pepper, just to roast them. So easy, but so good. My favorite fruit. I had to pick up some fruit because I feel like I have not been eating any fruits and vegetables lately. And it's showing on the skin. Like I'm getting out breakouts and I've gained like six pounds. It's so bad. 
So um, this is sliced pineapples. I love pineapples. And for another fruit option, I picked up some bananas because I need my protein. I mean my potassium. But I wanted oranges, but they didn't have what I wanted. So then I also picked up some potatoes because sometimes rice is my jam. I'm not really a potato person. Like if you said, Tara, would you rather count out rice or fries or potatoes I would say potatoes but sometimes I think these make for an easy side or they're good with like a breakfast scramble when you cut them up if you feeling fancy these chicken cilantro mini wontons I have tried before when I was doing Weight Watchers I really do like these but I don't like them microwaves I like them when they are fried up in the pan and then I mix in like my own like soy sauce tamari sauce um, sweet chili sauce things like that to kind of zhuzh them up and then this was I think one of those Thanksgiving things this is a broccoli and cauliflower gratin so it looks like it's just broccoli cauliflower naped in a creamy sauce with mozzarella and grana padano cheeses that sounds yummy and you get your vegetables too although I'm sure the cheese probably does look really good for that then I picked up I've never had this before this is Peruvian style chimichurri rice with vegetables it sounds amazing so I'm gonna give that a try like I said y'all I am a rice girl so I picked up my rice speaking of rice <laughs> Jasmine rice. I love jasmine. I love basmati and I like cooking my rice out of the bag I feel like you get more bang for your buck and I and I cook it myself and I also have a rice cooker um, Oh, This was another one of those Thanksgiving ones This actually goes with the sign that I that I had showed you guys earlier It is a roasted garlic and herb butter spread and on the sign It was like this would be really good with on top of your turkey and when I went to check out the guy made it a point to be like that stuff is so good you could just put that on like nice focaccia bread or any kind of bread toast it up and make it like garlic bread I was like oh you got ideas I like it <laughs> then there was Trader Joe's Mexican style roasted corn with cojita cheese I don't think I've tried this but I am a big fan of Mexican and I think sometimes it's nice to feel like you're um, mix this in with like your ground beef and put it on your tacos or just mix this in with some Spanish rice I feel like that would be yummy um, uh, then I got some shredded green cabbage this was total just easy peasy shredded green because obviously you can get your own cabbage and shred it but I think just throwing this in the pot with some salt some peppers some onions some red peppers green peppers saute that down that makes a good side salad like a vegetable option I should say then I've never had this one either Trader Joe's balsamic vinegar and rose oh I didn't see rosemary but mm, I'll give it a try rosemary chicken not a big rosemary person but it's pre-grilled and all you have to do is heat it up I'm sure this probably would taste really good on top of a salad or just with some veggies or rice next time so Trader Joe's popcorn with herbs and spices never tried this but I feel like popcorn is a nice way for me to get my crunch in because I am a chip aholic um, and sometimes ugh, I just want Cheetos and crap and that's what I've been eating lately, but it's not helping me So organic brown rice this organic brown rice is bomb you get six. I think 10 10 oh no you get three 10 ounce microwave packages in here If you have not tried Trader Joe's brown rice and you don't like brown rice you might want to give that a try It's pretty good pretty good especially if you're making like chicken or something that has its own sauce and you could just oh so good oh here's another one that is thanksgiving ready this is trader joe's braised turkey drumsticks they're fully cooked um just heat and serve slow cooked turkey legs with herbs and spices oh my god doesn't that look good then i look good and i'm not a big turkey person you get two turkey legs like i said i'm a chip person these are yummy. They taste like almost air nothing. They're sour cream and onion corn puffs from World's Puffiest. Oh, Trader Joe's World's Puffiest corn puffs. They're so good. They have these in sour cream and onion and they also have them in regular like cheese or something like that. I've had both. They're both really good. Then, of course, for my sweet tooth, I picked up some milk chocolate truffle, organic chocolate. I'm not a big sweet person, but I like to have it on hand for when it does strike we're almost done guys um so the next thing they had were the donuts i'm not a big donut person either but they're apple cider 
flavor. They're flavored with other natural flavored donuts. Um, those are good for your sweet tooth. Um, and then this one was like one of the Thanksgiving -y things I think as well. This is Trader Joe's Apple Blossom Fully Baked with with Northern Style Apples. I'm not, I do like apple pie, so I figured since it's a smaller version, you get two in a pack. I thought that was a good idea. You kind of get um, to taste it, but not, not get overdone. So hopefully that equates to like a slice. Another Thanksgiving thing were these Trader Joe's mastery potatoes with pecans. Um, already fully cooked. You just heat these up in the microwave, y'all. Um, and then last but not least, I have this brined bone in half turkey breast with garlic herb butter and this is heavy fully cooked got to keep it in the fridge heat and serve but they make the picture look so good I hope mine comes out this nicely I forgot to show you guys I also bought two drinks one is a sparkling cranberry cranberry flavored juice blend 100% juice and then this one is a serve chilled sparkling white chardonnay grape juice and that's it I forgot there was this rhubarb strawberry soda so we'll see how that goes sparkling beverage made with tart rhubarb and sweet strawberry juice this is not like I thought it was more like sparkling water type thing I just grabbed it because the flavors sound interesting so we'll see how that goes but yeah, that's all the stuff I got from Trader Joe's today. I hope, I know it's not a Poshmark haul, but it's something different. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful, blessed day, guys.